when I pull this thing in, it's this is part of the ballerina act because we have a weird driveway. We'll totally bottom out, but just only for a brief second if we do this right. Well, I mean, I mean, that's just a visual thing of like people talking about print runs and stuff is like, it's just not the print run. It's like how much we're actually distributing. Like we're like covering all our um, subscribers. We donate to a lot of local uh, libraries. We donate to a lot of zine libraries, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and then traditional distribution. But every one of those zines is accounted for. Like we'll end up with in our in, in HQ, fifty to seventy-five left over. You know, and that'll be for like mail orders. People starting subs in between the two months and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. so it's not we're just not wasting anything. You know. Yeah, there's no room for that. No, yeah, no, because I know so many people who have who have punk furniture, which is just like boxes and boxes of stuff that's not sold. You know, that just sits around. I mean, the weird thing is that it doesn't really matter who's on the cover. Like we had, uh, we had two two issues in, in, that came out sim uh, one after another against me, twenty eight I think, and then Alicia Trout twenty nine. The Alicia Trout issue sold better, hmm. and Alicia Trout, you know, who's awesome, who I really love, is probably one fiftieth as popular as against me. Right. So that makes me think that people getting picking up razor cake because how we approach things, not exactly who's on the cover. Mm -hmm. Which is antithetical to, you know, magazine distribution. You know, because that I mean we if you want to go to seven eleven or something, you can just see that it's just like you have your stuff, your FHM, uh, your Maxim, and it's like disoriented sixteen year old scantily clad will sell you magazines. Yeah. And we're, you know, we just I don't know any disoriented 16 year old girls that are in really good bands. It's like fat dudes. <laughs> fat dudes in empty parking lots. <laughs> That's our demographic. Skills. The good thing about razor cake is that you, you would write about it if it made sense with a particular individual. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's, I mean, there's a couple of tiers involved. One, I'm going to do stuff that I like, period. You know, and not just me because I'm putting it together. A fancy. I'm a fan of this music. Number two is trust in people. Like if, um, you know, somebody is really excited. I, mean, I don't assign shit. If someone's really excited about a band and can get their act together enough so they interview them, the interview, interview is good, photos are good, uh, and they're excited about the band, that that carries a lot of weight with me. And I don't ha necessarily have to like the band or like, you know, think that they're, they're the best thing out there. But they, you know, as long as they are not on a major, um, as long as they fit very, very loose parameters of punk rock. By, by putting up those gates, basically two gates, gates of like uh, a very loosely defined genre, and the higher gate is quality, you know, because it's, everybody can, anybody can interview a band, not everybody can interview a band well, or write an article well, you know, so that's how we just have that stuff set up at the beginning. issues out within a week, within seven or eight days. Physically out of here. Physically out of here. That's all we have left. Out of 53 issues, that's it. Oh wow. Nothing, nothing more. Those are all our back issues. You know, that's not too bad.
we're not manufacturing something for children. Something is happening that is tapping into the youth and everybody. And so I think it's a lot different than uh, Disney intentionally manufacturing so kids buy more of their shit. You know, for some reason, it's still a very viable thing for you know 13 year old kids to pick up a guitar, bass, drums, whatever, and be pissed off at the cops and their parents. You know, and I think those are really viable, good ways to get started. Nice. And and that we're not we're not openly soliciting people to start bands. We're you know we're documenting it and we're celebrating it.